Oh, we have got some serious catitude in this week's pet parade. <laughs> <laughs> Our friends from Medfield Animal Shelter are joining us this morning. Great to see you guys. It's nice to see Thank you. Thank you for being here. I must say that these are the most well-behaved cats we have seen on Pet Parade Just come through in recent weeks. They're beautiful. Tell us about your organization and what makes it different. Okay, the Medfield Animal Shelter is a small organization in Medfield. We've been around for about 13 years. Um, we've built the organization up from nothing to placing 500 pets a year. Um, and by nothing, you mean like shack. A shack. Yeah, a shack with no running water that we had to raise money. It took us many years to raise the money. Incredible. Um, yeah, and we, so we place dogs, cats, guinea pigs. We have gerbils. We have some exotic finches right now. Chinchillas. We've had us. a chinchilla. <laughs> guinea pigs. Did I leave out guinea pigs? Um, <laughs> Everything <laughs> under the sun. Right, Name right. It, we got it. So we brought cats today, but there we, we have a variety of pets. How about we set the, uh, the adults okay. on the table? Let's run us through first. We'll, we'll start with Princess P. Okay. What's Princess P's story? Princess P was found out on the street by some college students. They rescued mm. her. They had rescued some kittens, but they just couldn't afford to give her the vet care she needed. So they turned her over to us. We had her spayed. We had her vaccinated. She's all ready for a home. She's only nine or ten months old. She's the sweetest girl, as you can see from, you know, she's, she's so mellow, but she's playful, too. She gets along with other cats. She's always well-dressed. Yes. She's, <laughs> a, she's called a tuxedo because of well her said. markings. <laughs> So she's a sweetheart of a cat. And, and then this is a mama. Yes, this is Petal. So Petal came into our care very pregnant. Um, and she actually had five beautiful babies, some of which we'll show you. Um, she's been in a foster home the whole time that she was taking care of the babies, where they said she's very sweet, active, greets everyone as if they were, you know, an old friend. So she's a sweet kitty. Funny. Um, and she's uh, about a year and a half old. Okay. And let's talk about her, her children. Okay. There are five of them. <laughs> There's five babies. They're kids. Right. They're the Peanuts gang. Oh. Um, who do we have here? We have Charlie Brown. Orange guy. It is orange guy. Oh and gosh, is that Lucy? So cute. And, no, Marcy. And Marcy, sorry. <laughs> but there's um, there's three others. Petal was a great mom to them because they've been in a foster home the whole time they've been alive. They're super sweet and you can be handled. They'd be great pets for children. Um, they're just really nice kittens. And they are just available for adoption now because they're eight weeks old. And they're also very well dressed with their little paws. <laughs> and I, I, mean, I just can't get over their white paws. They're so cute. Yeah, they are adorable. They have very unique, some of them have unique markings in this litter. There's quite a variety. So. I got to tell you, we were nervous, but on the surface, we look calm and ready because we're both yes, allergic, allergic to cats. Right, right, which is unfortunate right that you can't yeah. touch them, I just but they are so cute. But I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody wants to bring a home to these guys, what, what do they need to All do? All they have to do is um, go to our website, medfieldshelter.org, and there's an adoption application. And we also do adoption hours every Saturday from 11 to 2, so we'll be there right after this with these babies mm. um, and with all these guys. All their pets are on our website, um, so there's many more, like we said, that are available for adoption.